Tires are built forever. They're a resilient product, extremely well-designed product. You don't want them coming apart when you're driving down the road. We basically have to take a product that was made to be almost indestructible and figure out how to destroy it. Most people don't look at it like this, but tires are a very difficult waste to dispose of. If you've ever seen a tire pile with 1 million, 2 million, I've seen them with 20 million tires in a pile, and they don't break down in the natural environment. And really the tire problem uh, for the world is our opportunity to try to solve it for the world. CM Shredders is a manufacturer of industrial shredders for the recycling and size reduction industry. Our focus is for shredding everything. Basically anything that you can throw at us, we're able to size reduce down um, anything from wood, paper, purple mattresses, plate steel, toilet paper, paper towels, all, all sorts of things. We have a really specialized machine that can shred tires, so that'd be the bulk of our shredding. To put it in perspective, a billion tires per year are disposed of. And then if you put them in a landfill hole, uh, you, they just take up a lot of room. So you don't get the compaction. The other largest environmental concern that still happens are tire fires. There, there's no putting it out. You can't throw water on it. You can't throw sand on it. You just contain it. The amount of pollution that goes into the air, uh, something like that, is tremendous. Another really big part of this is it's the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. It's a terrarium. You literally have the perfect environment where it holds water in there, it has a lot of heat, and it has darkness. And it creates a really bad environment that spreads disease very quickly. Tires are built not to not to tear apart, all right? They're, they're really meant to stay together. So it's really, really hard to shred a tire. And if you can imagine taking a pair of scissors and, and cutting rubber, it, it doesn't want to cut. Also, you have to remember there's a, there's a bead steel inside the center of the tire and by the rim. You have to also cut through that. So it takes a lot of force to cut a tire. Every single one of these components has to come together just perfectly because we're dealing with tolerances as thin as a hair. And if they are not perfectly lined up, you can have a big problem. Everyone wants to put the biggest thing in the shredder. So having electronic limits and overloads and things that will protect the machine itself, protect the motor equipment, trying to conserve power, or efficiently use power so they don't have a large service size. Also, our shredders have a knife system that help clean cut the tires. So it makes it really good for feeding systems, but also it's a really good for operational costs as you can change them out pretty easily when they're worn. The fact that you're able to resharpen them, you create such value for the client. You create such a low cost of operation that the client is able to not have to worry about the biggest cost of a shredder, which is the knives. Sustainability is a big buzzword today. You don't hear much of anything without people saying sustainability. Really, it's about getting the longest use out of the initial product. And then once we have that, create the lowest possible cost of ownership. And then once it goes through its phases, can we rebuild it? Can we reuse it again? That's, I think, true sustainability. The recycling of tires is a big sustainability aspect of CM Shredders. While we aren't actually doing the recycling, we're providing the tools to have these uh, products that usually are discarded or wasted being used in, a, in, a, in another way. We have clients that just see a waste product and it takes that special kind of a person that you just see that and you go, there's gotta be something there that we can do with this.
Recycled tires are probably the most recycled product that we have. It even surpasses aluminum cans and plastic bottles. Uh, we can mix it with coal, wood waste, garbage, and burn it for fuel and energy. And then there's other uses for it. Rubber mulch, if you look at playgrounds, horse arenas, running tracks. Some of the tiles for homes that we see, so they do roofing shingles, soccer fields, you know, the handles on some of your cars, mats that you see in gyms. The end goal, I think, to any of the clients is creating this full circular economy. So you're able to take in that tire. You're able to have that tire pay for its own equipment to process itself in. And then you're able to create a product that helps that end user, the owner of the business, the entrepreneur, build and make that bigger. It has to be financially feasible for, for it to work. So finding that way to close that loop, I think uh, it creates the, the next generation of entrepreneurs. You don't know what those products that they're gonna need that we have, haven't thought of. And I see that being a very exciting part of, of what we do. The positive impacts of shredding every day are re re the reduction of waste. Just initial shredding takes away the majority of the issues. We change their configuration. They can't hold water anymore and they can be put in a landfill and compacted. That's not really the goal, but that is the initial impact of shredding. You'd be surprised how many places still need to be cleaned up. We were just installing a machine and they were literally picking up tires from scattered out around the whole area and coming to the shredder and shredding them. And it was a massive area. I mean, lots of tires just scattered out everywhere. So this is a nice part of it that they can go through our machines and be put to another use. My industry of the future is a truly sustainable industry. And I think if we're ever gonna get to that, that we need to think about how we're gonna reuse products as we're designing new products. And when we can do that, then we could start using that word in its true context.